Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to the Autel Training Academy. In this video, I'm going to perform a wheel alignment with the revolutionary new IA900 WA. It's the only all-in-one solution for four-wheel alignment, ADOS calibration, and vehicle diagnostics in a single affordable unit. The vehicle today is a 2020 Audi S6. Let's go step by step. Tap wheel alignment on the home page. If you just want to perform regular four-wheel alignment, tap wheel alignment on the left. But the IA900WA can perform wheel alignment, steering angle reset, and ADOS calibration all in one, making it one of the premier devices on the market. So we will tap advanced wheel alignment. Insert the VCI for this function. Turn on the ignition and connect the Ultra with the VCI. Then select your vehicle. The car selection menu allows customers to accurately select the correct vehicle. Once your vehicle is selected, move on to the next step. Select wheel alignment. Select the scenario according to the actual vehicle repair situation and tap OK. Ensure the ignition is on, engine is off, and the VCI is connected. Then there are three steps to perform vehicle inspection. Inspection is optional and can be skipped. Perform tread inspection. Choose the right scenario based on the vehicle's real situation. Select the appropriate condition based on the tire's current status. Take and upload pictures for you and your customers to see in the report. Next, use a tread measuring device to perform tread depth and pressure inspection. Here we can use the TBE200. Tap to connect with your TBE200. Scan each tire. All data will be populated onto the tablet when it's done. Then perform a chassis inspection. You can select a component to view pictures, the component introduction, related symptoms, and repair methods. If there are no problems, add a green check mark for each component. Next, perform preparation work based on the instructions shown. The software can adjust ride height automatically. So let's perform ride height measurement. Install the wheel targets and the ride height targets based on the instructions shown. Now the frame will adjust automatically based on the height targets. Data will populate on the screen. After that, we will do a chassis measurement, including compensation preparation and rolling compensation. Follow the instructions below to finish compensation preparation. Insert the turn plate slip plate pins and install the turn plate bridge. Ensure the vehicle is on the alignment lift and place wheel chocks to prevent the vehicle from sliding. Steer ahead, place transmission in neutral, release the parking brake, lock the steering wheel, Make sure the targets are cleaned before installing them. Then perform rolling compensation. Manually move the vehicle based on the instructions provided. You can view the touchscreen on the frame for more convenience. When the vehicle is in place, the Ultra will ding. Place wheel chocks to prevent the vehicle movement to finish compensation. Now perform caster SAI measurement. If required, you can also measure the Ackerman angle, also known as toe-out on turns, as well as maximum steering angle by selecting the additional measurements. Remove the steering wheel holder, start the engine, install the brake pedal depressor, and then stop the engine. Remove the turn plate slip plate pins and remove turn plate bridge. Press next to perform caster SAI measurement. Turn the steering wheel based on the instructions.
Measurement results will be shown on the screen automatically and will be saved as a report after pressing Next. Result list view also allows you to view SAI, IA, and Ackerman angle. You can also view rear only values, front only values, vehicle symmetry, and tire rolling diameter. Red values signify components that need repair. You can view repair information by tapping on the value or the icon next to it. To repair all red values at once, press next to adjust the components in alignment guide. Raise the lift to perform adjustments. The frame will adjust automatically in real time with the vehicle lift. Let's adjust the red values that are lit up on the screen. Green values do not need to be adjusted. For the rear camber, there are some red values lit up, meaning there are some problems here. In rear toe, the red values are also lit up, meaning we need to adjust these components. The order of adjustment is in line with OE requirements. For front toe, rotate the steering wheel according to the screen. The IA900WA can perform this quickly. After wheel alignment, a post alignment service is required to ensure vehicles are safe to drive based on OE requirements. Not performing a service may cause safety issues. Steering angle sensor initialization needs to be performed. Make sure the brake pedal depressor is removed, the ignition is on, engine is off, and VCI is connected. Turn the steering wheel to the left and stop and hold it for at least 5 seconds. Turn the steering wheel to the right and stop and hold it for at least 5 seconds. Turn the steering wheel back to the center position. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Perform basic setting adjustment activation. The IA900WA can perform ADOS calibration directly after wheel alignment, which is in line with OE requirements. We can perform ACC and LDW here. The frame can adjust automatically based on the vehicle's height to reach a standard value shown on the screen. SAS initialization and ADOS calibration are performed to get the vehicle's electronics in optimal working condition. Finally, print the final report or share it to your mobile device and email it to a customer. Complete wheel alignment procedures in the IA900WA are organized according to OE procedures. Wheel adjustment, SAS calibration, ADOS calibration, diagnostic special functions are all integrated in one package. For more videos on the IA900WA, subscribe to the Autel Global YouTube channel.